two powerful bomb blasts have struck the perimeter of Kabul's Hamid Karzai International Airport, as civilians continued to seek to escape on flights from Taliban-controlled Afghanistan. The Pentagon confirmed 13 U.S. service personnel were among those killed. The bombings came hours after Western governments had warned their citizens to stay away from the airport, because of an imminent threat of an attack by ISK, the Afghanistan branch of the Islamic State group. Here is what we know about what happened. The first explosion happened at about 1800 hours local time, close to the Baron Hotel, near the airport's perimeter. The hotel was being used by British officials to process Afghans hoping to travel to the UK. It was followed by gunfire and then a second explosion close to the Abbey Gate, one of the airport's main entrances. UK Defence Secretary Ben Wallace said a suicide bomber walked into the middle of families waiting outside the gate before carrying out the attack. It was about 300 metres, we think from the Baron's Hotel, and walked straight into the middle of those families waiting. Reports say some victims were blown into a sewage canal where Afghans were waiting to be processed. Many of the victims of the attack were rushed to Kabul's emergency hospital. US and British troops had recently been deployed to guard the area around the Abbey Gate. According to one account, one attacker fired into a crowd of people. Although reports also said Taliban guards had fired into the AIR. US citizens who had gone to the area around the airport had been warned before the attack to leave immediately. It's believed some 90 people were killed and 150 injured. The Pentagon said that 13 US military personnel were among the dead. They included US Marines and a US Navy medic. A further 15 troops were injured. Images taken at the scene showed the injured being taken away in real barrows. Huge crowds had been gathering in the area, hoping to be accepted onto an evacuation flight. The attack is likely to significantly complicate the effort to airlift thousands of people out of Afghanistan. Before the attack, a number of countries, including Germany, the Netherlands, and Canada, had announced that they could no longer conduct flights. Turkey has announced that its troops, who had been providing security at the airport for six years, were withdrawing. The UK has also confirmed that it will no longer be calling people forward to the airport for evacuation flights. Graphics by Prina Shah and Jerry Fletcher. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.